Now then, another video here. This time it's about solar panels, but it's not a how to do it or any of that sort of thing. It's observing the phenomena, as it were. We've got two of these panels. One gives full output, the other one doesn't. Um, there's no physical damage to them. So it's the, gra the glass isn't cracked, anything like that. They haven't been dropped, there's no bent bits, all that sort of thing. There's no burnt pieces or anything. So I'm just going to basically go through the way that I would test them and we'll come up with, well, you know, the question will then be open as to what do you think? Which is always a good way of carrying on. You know, look at the phenomena or the the results of your tests uh, and then try and work it through. Maybe there's a point where we just go, don't know. Anyway, let's crack on. So there's the label. 250 watts. Uh, short circuit current. 8.4. So I've, I've actually done the short circuit current on this panel. It was pretty strong sun but not absolutely flat out and we got seven amps now we've got scudding clouds today so we've got variable light levels but let's just do the short circuit test now for those people who have never seen it happen so the multimeter that's on the 10 amp range and it's on DC amps where's the other end of that cable and the Sun's coming out quite strong so hopefully can you see that we did get to 8.4 That's when the panel is cold and the, the, there's light cloud over the sun now. But hopefully you saw that it was getting up there. There's a big window coming in a moment. In the clouds that is. Oh, perhaps not. Anyway, you get the idea. Okay, now, open circuit voltage is, if people try and sell you panels and go, cracked panels, and go, you get full voltage, you get full voltage anyway. Thirty-five point nine. So even with cracked panels, and it probably gives no, no current out, you'll still get full voltage unless it's real toast anyway hopefully you can see this so let's um, have a look at the other panel okay so this is uh, number four panel and as you can see there hopefully one amp so let's do the short circuit current test okay so 10 amp 10 amp DC put the meter on the Sun's actually obliging us and coming out can you see that 0.89 and it's, I would say it's the same strength sun. So um, we have a problem. So now we need to do is uh, have a look in the box at the diodes and see if there's a problem there. Okay. So a lot of the boxes on the back of these panels are really difficult to get apart. But on these ones, it's easy. 
I would say that's probably quite good quality. Now then, we just need to zoom in a bit, I think. So in the cover, there's a silicon O-ring. So it should be watertight, theoretically. Anyway, there's the diodes. They're quite chunky ones, two for each. And as we've said before, that connection there is the end row of uh, wafers and it goes all the way down the panel across the bottom up the next wafers to there okay so on these ones again we can put a screwdriver in there and undo those tabs which is quite useful there so now first of all we can test those diodes without the uh, the panel being connected and secondly we can connect we can test there to there there to there and there to there and see if there's one set of wafers that is causing this problem so we put the multimeter the red back to the the end one and we're going to go to continuity and this will not be easy so the resistance is the same and there's nothing there nothing there and nothing there so from what I worked out those diodes seem to be okay now we need to turn the panel round and face the Sun to be able to check the short circuit current test between there and there there and there and there, and there. so we'll just do that So set the meter up again and as Big Clive says never ever leave that there in the current uh, settings because the next time you pick the meter up you whiz this round to volts and then stick this across the battery and it's a dead short and it'll blow your meter. So uh, we're on current and well we've got a bit of sun and it's only 0.75 now if there was a fault with one set of wafers 0.43 then there'd be a marked difference which we've got 0.3 there 0 0.74 0 0.43 0 0.8 but it's still quite low now there's a window in the cloud coming over in about a couple of minutes so I'll switch you off until we get to that okay three two one point eight point four seven point eight nine in good sun so all I can think is we have a problem with these wafers and of course you can't really get into that but uh, as a comparison let's just get the good um, panel out quickly okay I've changed the uh, the panel for the the good one and the sun's just gone then but we've got and I've disconnected the the wafer buzz bars and we're just behind the cloud 
but we've got 1.6, four, the sun's coming out. We've got to wait for another window, but you can see straight away that there's uh, a lot more power. There you go, number five. And again, I've disconnected everything. I think we've got a, a minute or two to wait for some good sun again. And it looks like we've got a Here we go, six, five, and the first lot is quite low on current. Now that's interesting. Very interesting. Come on, we need some really bright sunshine. So it looks like the last lot of wafers on the negative side are nowhere near as good. So we're on nine there, nine there, and 1.7 there. So a bad set of wafers there. Very interesting. The, uh, the next thing, of course, is um, maybe we've got a drop in voltage when under short circuit current test with this because one set of these wafers won't give the current. Although we were getting, I can't remember, what was it? Nearly eight to start with, but then it went down to... Um, about six and a half amps so we're going to have to test this um, in circuit somehow but as you can see full sun it's only 1.7 on that set of wafers and then between the middle the two middle connections we've got nearly nine and the two outer ones nearly nine interesting So this is just an extra bit on another day. What we've got there is some resistance wire directly across the output of this panel. And it's fair middling sunny. And I've got the box off the back of the panel. There we go. And I'm just going to have a look with a voltmeter just to see what's going on. There we go. So between the first two, we've got three volts. Between the second one, two, we've got 2.1. So between the positive on the far end and the third tail on these panels, we've got 4.9 volts. And then between the ends we've only got 4.5 so it means that the power that is going through this is not going through the last panel it's actually going through the diodes and there those are cold those are warm so the, the that resistance is pulling the voltage down a lot surprisingly uh, um, uh, but it can't get through this last set of wafers because uh, there's a fault in them so it's going through the diode instead interesting interesting putting a load on like that 
how much it pulls the voltage down. So I'm assuming that the, although we were getting 8 amp short circuit current, I suppose we ought to do a short circuit current test with a voltmeter in circuit as well. We've still got some sun, I'll get on with that. So we've got a voltmeter. Let's hope we can see both of these. This is juggling in the extreme. That one's set on volts. This one's set on DC amps. So it's a short circuit current test. So we've got nearly 8 amps, but we've only got 0.6 of a volt. Make of that what you will. Let's try it on the, the next. That's on two. That's 25. Um, 0.5 of a volt on eight amps. There you go. These are shaking a bit, but because I'm in an awkward position. Anyway, maybe well, we know voltage is not the be and end all, and short circuit current test is a good um, test, but it's not a definitive test. Because as we've seen earlier on, you can get a good short circuit current test and a good voltage, but still some of the wafers can be bad. So that's interesting. Um, this panel, this set of wafers here, are faulty. So uh, interesting, ne I never come across this where you've got bits of panel that don't produce as much power. I'd be really appreciative of any feedback on this and any personal experiences. Um, catch up with you soon.